How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use 3D Touch on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. Now it's really interesting, um, this feature is automatically turned on. Um, it is only optimized for certain uh, Apple apps, not every single app uses it, but um, it's really important that you distinguish between what is 3D Touch and what is like uh, holding down on an app because I spent a couple of minutes trying to figure this feature out and I'm, I'm sure some of you guys are probably struggling the same way. So if I hold down, for example, on the call app, if I just hold down on it, it shakes. This is not 3D Touch, right? And I'm sitting here like, hey, I'm on the video. He held down on the phone and he held down the camera and something happened. So think of it like if you're just like tapping the screen or like putting your finger on the screen but not applying any pressure, then you're not activating the 3D touch. To actually activate 3D touch, you have to actually press down. So you kind of like have to put some force on it. So uh, again, just holding down, not really like uh, pressing down the screen, but um, when I press with force, so like push, so it's like you're pushing into the screen, then it accesses these menus right here. So take a selfie, record video, record slow-mo, take a picture, whatever. Uh, camera app is compatible. So right now, again, I'm pressing down really hard, but your finger has to actually press into the screen. So you, you've got to have actual force, not just like, oh, I'm tapping harder. It's not tapping harder, it's actually like, and this is kind of like what I, I already see I like and don't like about it is like unless you're like really using force on the screen it doesn't activate it so like right now I'm just gonna hold down the app nothing but I'm gonna press so I'm actually so once you actually press into the screen that's when um, it kicks in and if you watch the uh, Apple announcement and they show you kind of like the mechanism um, of how they built the screen and how it works, the screen actually reads when your finger basically ap applies pressure onto the screen. So if you're just have your finger on the screen, which is like right now, I just have my finger, let me show you here. I just have my finger on the screen. You see that just normally activates you know, like being able to move the apps around, but it's when I apply full pressure. See that? So that's Safari. And you can, you know, show bookmarks, private tabs, whatever. Um, music. So notice this. If it shakes like that, it means that there is no 3D touch uh, set up for that uh, particular app. So for example, music doesn't have a shortcut for 3D touch. Email. So this is kind of cool. I can add my account without even going into the app. I can just do that to get started. So that's pretty cool. So um, settings. So settings doesn't have one. So again, that's why the screen just kind of shakes like that. Uh, app store also doesn't have one. In fact, let's try all the home screen apps just to see. So let's jump to calendar. So calendar has add an event, which I think is crazy useful. I could definitely see myself using that one. Uh, photos doesn't have one. Camera, obviously, that's one of my favorites. Weather, doesn't have one. Clock, hmm, let's try clock again. Oh, sweet, create an alarm, so that's pretty fun. Now granted, I would prefer to use Siri for creating an alarm because I feel like it's easier to just say, hey, Siri, set an alarm for so-and-so, but still cool to be able to just access from the screen. Uh, maps, has a nice little selection here, so we have directions, home, Mark my location, send my location, search nearby. So that's a very useful uh, 3D Touch um, list there. For video, none. Wallet, none. Notebook. Okay, so for Notepad, we can create a new note, uh, create a you know a note with a picture in it, or do a sketch. So that's pretty cool. Reminders. So again, it's you really got to apply that pressure. So reminders, yep. Stocks, none. iTunes Store, none. Heart Sensor, none. iBooks, Search Bookstore, and News. So that's just kind of a, it's kind of a basic rundown of how 3D Touch works. Because I was, I, I, you know, set the phone up and I'm playing with it and I'm like, hey, 
how come 3D Touch isn't working? Do I have to turn something on? So no, it's not something you have to turn on. It's automatically on, but it's a matter of you applying the right amount of pressure. Without the right amount of pressure, it's just gonna do this thing where it like shakes the apps up. So this is just like touching the screen versus like holding down. Remember, holding down, actually applying pressure onto the screen and that will activate your 3D Touch. Anyway guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to Extra Tech videos and have a good one.